Hello, hello everybody. Whenever I tell my story or post a video on social media and say I was disabled by three pills of ciprofloxacin, people always ask, how? They're wondering why an antibiotic they took that they think is safe because they never had side effects. How could that have caused so much harm in someone like me or anybody else? So here goes. Fluoroquinolones are a class of synthetic, broad-spectrum antibiotics that are used to treat a variety of bacterial infections, including things like anthrax. They come in pill form, IV, injectable, ear drops, and eye drops. And they carry the most severe warning from the FDA, a black box warning, seven of them to be exact. And they have the most adverse effects of any drug on the market, not just antibiotic, of any drug on the market. For these reasons, the FDA states that in many cases, the benefits do not outweigh the risks and fluoroquinolone should be used as last resort only when no other treatment options are available. And this is why. Fluoroquinolones work by destroying bacteria, good and bad bacteria. But at the same time, they can also destroy healthy tissue. The most common damage is to connective tissue. It causes tendons to inflame or tear, especially the Achilles heel tendon, which everyone is familiar with. But other tendons, muscles, and joints can also become inflamed. This is often accompanied by severe pain. It becomes a serious threat when collagen also breaks down in the walls of blood vessels. This can cause aneurysms, which are bulges in the aorta that can cause it to rupture. The result is severe internal bleeding. Fluoroquinolones are also extremely harmful to nerves, affecting small nerve fibers, causing excessive pain. The neurotoxic effects of fluoroquinolones can be devastating and can encompass antibiotic-associated encephalopathy, seizures, central nervous system effects, and peripheral neuropathy. Although perhaps the worst of all side effects is a side effect affecting the mitochondria. Fluoroquinolone toxicity is basically mitochondrial damage. Mitochondria are the power plants of the cell. When this disruption occurs, energy production in the cells becomes insufficient and patients are sometimes so exhausted they spend most of the day in bed. This is direct toxicity to tissues, organs, and alterations in cellular processes. When your mitochondria is damaged, it affects every cell in your body. And once that happens, everything is a downstream effect from there. And many people get worse over time and or take a long time to recover because of this mitochondrial damage. The damaged mitochondria is producing more damaged mitochondria instead of healthy mitochondria, and this makes it so that your body is unable to fix itself because it doesn't have the tools, systems, or processes that it needs. The processes it needs to fix itself are damaged. That is why I always call fluoroquinolone toxicity an extinction level event because it literally affects every single cell and part of your body. So again, Fluoroquinolone should be used as last resort only when no other treatment options are available. So the next time you're prescribed a fluoroquinolone, I'm not saying you should not take antibiotics you need. I'm saying to ask for an alternative if there is one. Thanks everybody.